What's up friends? Welcome to another moto vlog of iron vlog. Today I'm going to talk about another upstart British band that kind of brought heavy metal into the world. None other than Judas Priest. These guys, man, if uh, you grew up in the 80s and uh, really were into metal, you were all about Judas Priest. No one had more attitude and charisma. And uh, as we all know today, a lot of that fashion actually came out of the fact that their front, their front man, Rob Halford, was a gay man. And, uh, you know, for me, I personally find that just absolutely fantastic that here you have all these huge metal bands like Slayer and uh, Metallica and Iron Maiden and, and all these bands. And I, and I love all of these bands, uh, you know, but uh, Priest made it kick ass to wear leather in metal. And the next thing you know, all these guys are wearing leather. And then 20 some years later, they find out that, you know, all that leather and studs and whips and stuff was actually just uh, Rob Halford's uh, basic bedroom attire from S&M shops. I just think that that is um, spectacular. So anyways, Judas Priest, they have been around forever. And uh, too many albums to name. My personal favorite though, if you haven't really heard of Priest and you're not a Priest fan, you need to go out and check out the album Stained Class. And uh, not only that one, but another one to check out for sure is Sad Wings of Destiny. Man, the first track on that, once you hear Victims of Change, you're just hooked. You're hooked and you cannot turn this album off. And. Uh, just so many different they they were such a different entity than black sabbath and maiden and a lot of the other bands coming out of uh you know uh britain and stuff to where they they had such a technical edge to them to where sabbath was raw priest was all about technical the guitars dual guitars thundering freaking bass and drums and then you just had a singer that could do anything with his voice. Rob Halford is probably the greatest heavy metal singer to ever uh, be in a heavy metal band, in, in, in my opinion. So, you know, but of course, much like Sabbath, they went through uh, some serious turmoil and uh, in which Rob left the band for quite some time. And you know, this is this is one of those things that while, yes, you can argue that Ozzy was not replaceable in Black Sabbath, that was more of attitude than it was vocals. Rob Halford, you just can't stick someone in those shoes and, and have them sing these songs. So they found this young guy named Tim Ripper Owens who was in a Judas Priest cover band and they got some video sent to them and they checked this guy out and they th they couldn't believe what they were hearing. They thought that he was lip syncing. They were like, there's just no way that this guy is uh, actually really singing like that. So they flew him in and uh, I mean, can you imagine being that dude? Can you imagine going from you know, playing in some small clubs and singing some of your favorite pre-songs to walking into a studio and sitting down in front of Glenn Tipton and K.K. Downing auditioning to be in the band that you idolize. And uh, I mean, I just couldn't imagine that. That that would be like me getting a phone call today saying, hey, uh, we decided we'd like you to come try out to be uh, the next singer of Tool. <laughs> be like, yeah, okay. So anyways, Ripper Owens goes in there, auditions, and gets the gig. And, and here he is, the front man of Judas Priest. And when they had him, while he could do everything that Rob Halford could do, he also had different ranges too, to where they could really start exploring, going much heavier than they had ever been. Their album, uh, Dehumanizer, holy shit. That is the absolute heaviest Judas Priest album out there and every track on it is just spectacular 
Um, but as as we all know, you know, bands, people can forgive, people make up, and there's also kind of the niche now of where all these bands that have been broken up, let's reunite so we can go out and make a bunch of money. Um, you know, Van Halen being a prime example. I, I mean, David Lee Roth and the, the Van Halen brothers, they fucking hate each other. That is just a sad travesty of seriously, well, we're getting old and my bank account's running dry. Let's do this because all the fans will come see us. Priest, it was not that matter. Priest was like, yeah, man, we, we apologize. Let's shake some hands and, and let's, let's write some music. And uh, here we are now. And in a couple weeks, I believe it's July 14th, um, the new Priest album hits the stores. It's called Redeemer of Souls. And uh, they have some songs out there. You can listen to them on blabbermouth.com. Uh, and uh, YouTube has some of the songs out there. Wow. I mean, it is, it's Judas Priest. Um, you know, I personally was pretty disappointed They, you know, when they got back together and they did this, um, conceptual album called, uh, Notre Dame. You know, it just wasn't, it's quality music, but it just wasn't my cup of tea. I, I don't understand when bands want to do conceptual albums. I just think that too many of them come out hokey and it seems forced. So... But anyways, Redeemer of Souls is coming out. I highly recommend that you uh, get out there and, and hear some of these snippets that are out there online. Like I said, blabbermouth.com, which if you're a heavy metal fan, I'm sure you know about Blabbermouth. And if not, you should. And uh, go check it out. And uh, I personally can't wait to hear it, the whole thing from beginning to end. And, you know, on that note, let's remember, it's, um, you know, it's important to support music. Um, it's important to not be finding these things illegal online and, and taking this. This isn't about making rock stars millionaires. This is about showing respect and supporting that these guys go out and bust their ass and, and they make this music for you to enjoy and uh, you, we should all respect that. So make sure you're not out there illegally downloading the shit. Make sure that you're actually going to the store or you know iTunes, whatever you do, but ju just make sure to throw some coin out and support these guys, all right? So, uh, you know, as always, my friends, thank you so much for checking out the Iron Vlog. If you're digging what you see, you know, I would love it if you subscribe. If not, that's cool, man. Thanks for just checking the show out. I appreciate it. And uh, always remember, friends, just listen to metal, love some life, and have some fun. We only have one go around at it. All right, I'll catch you next time. Thanks.